Hello, my name is Al Patterson, and I'd like to demonstrate my final project for 530.420 Robot Sensors and Actuators, Mechanical Engineering, Johns Hopkins University. Today I'd like to present to you a simple device that turns on and off your home air conditioning and heating systems in your house. Uh, the way this device operates is through three main sensors. Uh, one is this ping sonar unit. A second is a temperature sensor, TMP36, as you can see right here. Uh, and third is a simple standard servo, Parallax brand in this case. Uh, this is all running on a Mavarm M2 microprocessor. Um, let, me, let me take you through how it works. Um, the operation is twofold. First, motion detection uh, will detect inactivity or activity. Uh, if inactivity is detected for a certain amount of time, which can be set by the user, but for this demonstration is set to be short, uh, the program will proceed with a second sequence. Uh, and this sequence looks at the temperature detected by the sensor. If the temperature is below what is set in the program, the device will turn on. As you can see, this paper representation is how your device could interface with your air conditioning system. If the temperature is above that set in the program, the device will turn off. I'm going to heat up the temperature sensor with my finger and you'll see the device turn off. As you can see, I've heated up the temperature sensor and the actuator has turned off. When I release my hand, it will equilibrate to the room temperature and turn on again. The way that you would use this in your house is especially to prevent pipes from freezing. When you leave, the sonar will detect inactivity and turn off the systems. However, if the temperature gets below, say, 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you would want the heat to come back on to keep your pipes warm. That's exactly what you just saw in this case. Uh, now to demonstrate motion detection, I'll heat the system up again. This would simulate before you go on vacation. Your house is comfortable. You walk in front of the sonar and it keeps your air conditioning on. When I wave my hand in front of the sonar, the system will turn back on. So as you can see, this is a great way to save money. Um, it's also easy. You don't have to go and adjust your air conditioning every time you leave. So if you travel op often, this is a great device for you. This is to show quantitative output of the rest of my system. As you can see, there are ADC counts, temperature, time, seconds, and duration, which are for the sonar. Time is part of the loop time. Uh, it's a measure of how long the sonar has detected inactivity. Um, here, as you can see, the sonar flashing is functioning. Um, when I heat up the temperature sensor, you'll see the servo will move. Motion detection. That's money saved right there.